So life can only arise and persist in a universe that's big and old and dark and cold, with its planets and its stars separated by vast distances, driven by the never-ending expansion. These are necessary features of a life-supporting universe. And I think recognizing this shows how astronomy has transformed the simple-minded, life-averse, meaningless universe of the skeptical philosophers of the past. Breathes new life into many religious questions of ultimate concern and never-ending fascination about the universe. Many of the deepest and most engaging questions that we grapple with still about the nature of the universe do indeed have their origins in a purely religious quest for meaning and understanding. The concept of a lawful universe with order that can be understood and is worth investigating emerged largely out of monotheistic religious beliefs about the nature of God and the laws of nature, a concept that arose from the concept of his direction of the universe. It's a sober fact that the atomistic picture of matter made of tiny building blocks is something that arose for religious reasons long before there could have been any experimental evidence at all, either for it or against it. Out of these beliefs came confidence that there was an unchanging order behind the appearances, an order that was worth studying. Great questions about the origin and the end of the universe, the possible sources of all the complexity that we see within it, and the potential infinity of space, grew out of our religious focus on the great questions of existence and the nature of God. And like all great questions, they can turn out to have answers that take us down unexpected pathways, further and further away from the familiar and the everyday, into the realm of multiverses, extra dimensions, the bending of time and of space. All may reveal a universe that contains rather more than is needed for life, more even than is needed for speculation. We now see how it's possible for a universe that displays unending complexity and exquisite structure to be governed by a very small number, perhaps only one, simple law. A law that's symmetrical, intelligible to us, a law which governs all the most remarkable things in our universe, populations of elementary particles, which we believe to be completely identical replicas of one another. <laughs>